Hello and welcome to MI classes. My name is MI and in this lecture I am going to teach you reconciliation, a topic which has always been tested in exams and which students find it difficult to crack. To make it exciting and relevant for you, I have taken one of the most difficult past exam question. But if you stay with me throughout the lecture, I can assure you that this topic will be very peacefully understood. It will be in your fingertips at the end of this lecture. Don't trust me? Keep watching till the end. Let's start with the question. A manufacturing company has disclosed a net loss of 48,700 as per their cost accounting records for the financial year ending 31st March 2019. However, their financial accounting records disclosed a net profit of 35,400 for the same period. A scrutiny of the data of both the sets of books of accounts revealed the following information. Below a big list of information is given. Let's go on to the last one. It says prepare a statement showing reconciliation between financial accounting profit and cost accounting profit. Before I get started with the question, this question has been made little simple for you because we don't have to search what are the reasons for the differences in the profit as per cost records and as per financial records. But at the same time, like I said, little complicated question because the number of adjustments are quite large. Let's get started with the tricks first. First, you need to understand a small trick. Use your memory more than your understanding. For reason that in exam pressure, our understanding sometimes goes wrong. But if you put quick concepts in your memory, trust me, you will not go wrong in the exam whether you understand costing whether you understand accounting it does not make any difference your answer has to come your success cannot wait to make you understand few more concepts let me tell you step one remember we are always going to start with financial accounting profit so step one is understanding term called over absorbed and under absorbed Remember term over absorbed and under absorbed is generally used for cost accounting. The next is under absorbed. So remember when we are starting our reconciliation from financial accounting profit all over absorbed remember OD overdraft remember OD all over absorbed O for over absorbed D for we are always going to deduct. All right. When when we are starting with financial accounting profit. Similarly, all under absorbed. You remember under age or UA. And what are we going to do? We are always going to under absorbed. We are always going to add it. Just this trick I want you to remember. If you remember this much, our calculation will be very peaceful. First one OD over absorbed deducted. Second one under age under absorbed added added when when we are starting with financial accounting profit and we will always start with financial accounting profit if the question says cost accounting whatever we are doing we will just do opposite of it you remember brs yes exactly in the same fashion once we have understood our step one step two step two is basically creating our reconciliation statement so heading statement showing reconciliation In exam, heading is very important. Do not miss out. Statement showing reconciliation of financial records profit with cost records. Financial records and cost records profits. Particulars. And amount. First, we are going to write profit as per financial records. In case it is not profit, it is loss. Do not worry. Write the amount, but put it in bracket. So profit as per financial record is how much? 35,400 rupees. Right? After this, we are going to do whatever we have noted in step one. We are going to search what is under absorbed and over absorbed details. So factory overheads is under absorbed. The first one. The second one is administration overhead is over absorbed. 
blindly write it and then we will put the symbol for addition and subtraction so first factory overheads under absorbed how much 30500 and next administrative overhead this is over absorbed how much 65000 all right now let's look at step one what we have written so we have written if it is over absorbed deduct if it is under absorbed add now let's look at this is under absorbed under absorbed we are going to add so plus this is over absorbed over absorbed we are going to deduct so minus so minus means put the amount in negative bracket done we have done all under absorbed over absorbed first part is done second part is very very interesting let's look at the second part it says this and this is done depreciation charge in financial records so first keep writing what is written in the question depreciation as per financial records at the end we will come up with our tricks but first we are only going to write what is written in the question depreciation as per financial record is 200 25,000, 2 lakh 25,000. Depreciation as per cost records, 2 lakh 70,000. We are not putting plus and minus sign. That I will tell you at the end. Next one, income tax provision. So just write income tax provision as per financial records. How much? It says 52,400. Next write income tax provision as per cost record in cost record income tax provision is not accounted so write zero all right next one transfer fees credited so transfer fees credited all right how much 10200 in which account so as per financial records and then same thing credited as per cost records in cost records we have not accounted so write zero next obsolence loss obsolence loss charged to charged in financial records how much 20700 same thing obsolence loss charged in cost records how much it is not charged in cost records so we write zero next notional rent notional rent charged in the financial records how much is charged it says notional rent of own premises charged in cost record means financial record it has not been charged so we will write zero this time in the financial record next notional rent charged in cost records how much it has been charged in cost records 54000 all right let's go down further value of opening stock so opening stock as per financial records always why are we writing financial records first because we started from profit as per financial records that's why always financial records will come first and we are going to which profit profit as per cost records so below we will write cost records on top we will write financial records all right so opening stock as per financial record how much 1,15,000 next same opening stock as per cost records it is 1,38,000 and the last one closing stock as per financial records it is 1,12,500 and last one again closing stock as per cost records it is 1,22,000 done this is just we have copied the question now let's apply our trick you have to understand debit and credit this is the last thing that you need to remember remember we can say debit if we debit in the books can we say debit is nothing but deducted for computation of our profits all debits are done what we are deducting all debits wages wages are deducted to calculate our net profit salaries depreciation all these are deducted all these are debited 
Remember D for debit, D for deducted. Remember the other one C for credit and C for clubbed. So if I say it has been credited, it has been clubbed. Clubbed means it has been added. Deducted means it has been subtracted. Will you remember this? Yes, good. Now keep answering with me. Keep answering with me. Depreciation, what do we do? We deduct depreciation. In which record? In any record, depreciation will always be deducted whether you do in financial record, whether you do in cost record. Debit rules and credit rules do not change. So it has been deducted in financial record. It has been deducted in cost records also. Next one, income tax provision. Income tax provision is a debit item deducted. Next one, transfer fees credited. Credited means it is clubbed, added. So it is added here also. It should be added here also. It is different that in cost record, nothing is there. So we have written zero. If zero is added, no difference will happen. Next one, obsolete loss. So obsolete loss charged in financial record. Loss will be deducted, debited. Agree? Notional rent charged in financial record. Rent is an expense. Expense will be debited, deducted. In costing records also, in financial records also. Opening and closing stock is very important. Lot of times students get confused. Remember opening stock always comes on the debit side. Debit means deducted. It is deducted in financial record. It is deducted in cost records. And the last one, closing stock. In every question, opening and closing stock will always be there. So be very careful. Closing stock comes on the credit side. Credit side means it is clubbed. C for credit, C for clubbed. Means it is added in financial record also, in costing records also. Remember, in costing record, when you solve the cost sheet, you write less closing stock. But less closing stock is not equal to debiting closing stock. It is very much credited. Closing stock is always credited. But when you write cost sheet, in the cost sheet format, it looks like as if you are subtracting. You are not subtracting. Because there you are calculating cost of goods sold. For computation of cost of goods sold, you subtract. But for computation of profit, closing stock is very much added. So remember this point, do not get confused. Now I will change the ink color so that I can highlight the important change. All right. So what have you have to do in step two? Just remember one method called reverse and repeat method. Reverse and repeat method. I call it MIRR method. MI stands for my name and RR stands for reverse and repeat. What we need to do reverse. So we have started our calculation from financial records. Whatever we have done in financial records, we are going to reverse it. Whatever. If we have done add, we are going to subtract. If we have subtracted, we are going to add. Sounds complicated? Don't worry. One more minute and we will get our answers. And whatever we have done as per cost records, we are going to repeat it. If we have subtracted, we are going to subtract. If we have added, we are going to add. Again, I will repeat reverse and repeat method or we call it MIRR method. First, we are going to reverse. Reverse what? Whatever we have done in financial record, we are going to reverse. And whatever we, are, we have done in cost records, we are going to repeat. Sounds complicated. Don't worry. We have already done first one under absorbed and over absorbed as per step one. So ignore those items. Let's go to the next item. So till here we have already done. From here we are starting. Depreciation as per financial record. All financial record we are going to reverse. So first we have subtracted. We are going to add. We have subtracted. We are going to repeat. So if we have subtracted, reverse, add. All right, as per which record? Starting record. What is the starting record? Financial record. So in financial record, you have subtracted, we are going to add. All right. In cost records, we have subtracted, we are still going to subtract. We call it reverse and repeat method. Let's continue. We have subtracted, we are going to reverse, add. We have subtracted, we are going to repeat. We have added, we are going to reverse. We have added, we are going to repeat. We have subtracted, we are going to add. We have subtracted, we are going to repeat. All right, sounding interesting? Yes, keep going ahead. We have subtracted, reverse, subtracted, repeat. Subtracted, reverse, subtracted, repeat. Added, reverse, added, repeat. 
all right now that we have put our new signs let's put bracket accordingly add so this is a positive number less this is a negative number add positive number this is a negative number here subtract so this is a negative number this is a positive number next one add so this is a positive number and this becomes negative number similarly positive and negative number this is positive and this again becomes negative and last one this is less so this becomes negative and this is positive number and at the end how much should our answer be how much should we get so let's look at the answer as per cost records should be 48700 negative number this should be profit as per cost records all right if it is loss then loss will be in bracket if it is in bracket let's check whether we have got it or not so first 35400 plus 30500 minus 65000 plus 225000 minus 270000 plus 52400 minus 10000 200 remember negative positive signs are very important because when you do it you are looking here you are not looking here so bracket is very very important then plus 20700 minus 54000 plus 115000 minus 138000 and last two numbers is minus 112500 plus 122000 and we get exactly negative number 48700 and our answer has perfectly tallied so we have got profit as per cost record which is loss actually which is matching with what the question had given details i will repeat once again what we did we just wrote step one first that is important and once we wrote step one then just copied the question if it was subtracted we wrote subtracted first if it was added we have written added first then we started with our reverse and repeat method reverse as per financial record because we started as per financial record repeat as per what repeat as per cost records you may ask me sir what if we had started as per cost record and ended as per financial record nothing will change in that case what we will do we will reverse as per cost records and repeat as per financial records so if we start from financial records we reverse as per financial records and if we end as per cost records we repeat as per cost records so if cost record goes up it will be reverse as per cost records in that case that is only going to change to make this sync within you you have to practice this trick at least two to three times let me tell you any complicated question any complicated question no matter whatsoever it is trying to complicate you you use this trick answer will come that is guarantee just break the question into two steps step one the overdraft and underage what is overdraft if it is over absorbed deduct if it is under absorbed add that's all this is step one provided you are starting with which profit profit as per financial records and ending as per cost records so step one od and underage and after that step two is very simple you have debited in books debit here debit means deducted so minus here you have credited there club there added there add here and then you start with your reverse and repeat every question will comfortably give you answer whether you have understood it or not trust me exam should give you positive result even though you find it complicated difficult you do not understand quite clearly your results should not wait for your success you should be ready at any point in time with this this is irfat telling bye bye to you see you in the next lecture with more interesting concepts bye bye and take care